Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. In this episode, I want to talk about template literal types. It's a new thing within TypeScript 4.1 and it has some nice features. So before we start with explaining what uh, template um, literals types are, I need to show you what um, uh, template literal is. And that's this one, right? We have here hello and then e. Um, and then if you execute that, you will see that you get hello one, two, three, right? So that's, that's that. So imagine then the following syntax. Here we have on string, right? Where we have on click. And of course, here we have on click, on string, on click. And then we have here on whatever, and that has a value on whatever. But of course, what we want to do is we want to have something that is on and then a string, right? So for that, we can very easily do that just here remove this one right and then here we need to do this and i need to do here a string so here we say that we want to have something that starts with on and then we have here a string of course this can also be uh, good right and yeah, maybe you don't wanna wanna have that, right? So so there are still some limitations with this, but of course when you wanna type something and you wanna say, okay, the string that we get here um, needs to start with on, and the rest needs to be a string or the rest needs to be a number. Well, that's possible with this kind of new syntax uh, starting from TypeScript 4.1. So next one could be also a very good example. Here we have an ID and an ID starts with ID and then just a number. And here you see that ID num here is okay. And this one ID ABC is not okay, right? So it's nice when you have some combinations and you want to make sure that this combination uh, makes sense. So if you want to have typings where uh, you always want to con want to control or see that uh, this string um, starts with ID. Uh, you can very easily do that, create some, some kind of uh, type there, and then just check it. So that's also a very great one, in my opinion. So, okay, here we got an error, right? I think you will say type id abc is not assignable to type id number right so that's great i'm gonna remove id2 here and what i want to do here is the following thing right i'm just defining a digit a digit is a zero a one a two a three a four a five a six a seven a eight and nine and if you want to have a three digit number as a string, you can very easily define it like that, for example. And then here can, we can define here um, pin and then you have here a three digit number, right? And we just say one, two, three. And that's quick. And that's something that he says, okay, I like it. If you make it four digit number, you will see that, yeah, it's not working. And then you see here what combinations you all have. So it's great. Compiler also shows you what is possible and how you can rely on that. So when you create um, yeah, a class and your colleague needs to work with that and you say, okay, I just want to have three digit string, you can very easily do that with this kind of uh, typing structure, right? So nice. Another great one uh, is the following construct. 
All right. So here we have uh, a type camel to camel, right? And to camel, what it, what does it do? Well, it says, okay, um, what you provide here in to camel needs to be a string, right? And it so it it needs to extend from a string, right? So also x extends, and then here you say infer head. And then infer tail and then you can do something with the head and with the, with the tail right so you can say okay the head needs to be placed here right and the tail the other part of the equation here needs to be capitalized so for example this one here um what, what it does it's going to do or create from foo underscore bar, foo bar, and it will capitalize the B of bar, right? And and, and and that's just great because here you just define some kind of structure and then he's just gonna manipulate the string and he's gonna change it towards a capitalized tail, right? So, I hope you, understand what's going on here because that's a very powerful a very great uh, construct it's not easy to understand and i know not a lot of you will write these kind of uh, type of code but again when you just play around a little bit with in fear in fear well you can do very powerful and crazy stuff right so i'm very curious what i what it will do when i do type g not okay not okay and then i say to camel one and then i want to do something like this blah 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 Yeah, it will still work, I guess, because it just it just uses blah, blah, blah. But whenever you put something in like an underscore here and then something, you will just change that to words. Blah, 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 something right? It just removes the underscore and puts the S into a capital. And that's just how you need to how you need to construct that. Another example would be the following one, right? And there you have just uh, a union type, and then also here you have first name, last name, and it just changes that towards the right, uh, the right ones. Right. So yeah, what about this one? Well, you will see that we will have foo bar underscore boss, right? So he stops uh, right after the first underscore, right? Because here, this is, yeah, just how he needs to see it. And yeah, you, you, you don't have some kind of recursiveness into this one, right? But there is a solution for that. And the solution for that is the following beautiful thing. It's very beautiful. Um, all right. So what you see here, the difference is that we just put here uh, capitalize and then here again, the same kind of type that we already had to camel, right? And then our tail. So now when we do this, you will see here that, of course, we still have a problem because that was the first version, but the new version here, you will see that it just works because here we have foo bar buzz and everything is capitalized so if you put again here an underscore after this one magic then you will see that it also works right yeah so this is really crazy stuff right it's very important to understand what the infer 
is because with the unfair you can very easily manipulate certain parts of your uh, typings right so here you just say okay s extends uh, with this kind of uh, kind of kind of thing well if it's if it has this kind of pattern right then he will just use uh, this one right he will say okay the hat is this then we need to capitalize uh, two camel or tail right and then with the two camel he will just again go through the same kind of uh, construct here he will he will see okay we have here again an, an fear head and a tail and then he will just construct everything else until he doesn't recognize this anymore so with magic he doesn't recognize this anymore and he just will go for the s straight for the s right and otherwise he will go here so i hope you understand this it's something very nice to to play around with i think it will um, bring uh, new cool and, and nice stuff within uh, typescript to just use the um, template literal types uh, it's something new from uh, 4.1 and i can understand that um, normally you don't want you don't um, stay still with this kind of uh, kind of thing but when you really want to have strict typings there and you want to have some kind of con contracts between the, uh, your team of developers well then this is very nice to understand and a great sugar uh, that comes with typescript 4.1 i hope you enjoyed my video uh, thank you for watching and see you next time